Hey Yogi friends, welcome to Anytime Flow. So this morning we are going to be working through roughly a 35 minute all levels of vinyasa. So I'm going to give you some modifications through there so that as we move through the flow, you'll be able to uh, make things a little more challenging or back off so that you can make it just a little bit more easier on the self. And you know, some days we need to work really hard and push ourselves through things. And other days we just need to take a little step back, know that we are present and that we are on the rubber rectangle and we're here doing amazing things for ourselves just by virtue of showing up. This is a new ritual that starts to become a habit uh, that will eventually change your life, taking you on a journey to more joy and happiness. So this anytime flow, we've already done our pajama flow and our keep it simple flow. We've had a yin practice where I was outside by the Ord River, which is in Kununurra, Western Australia, and I used my drink bottle as a prop. So that really showed us like through that pajama flow that you don't need to have the fancy clothes to do your yoga asana practice. And the Ord River flow, you don't need anything too much at all uh, in order to do your or um, to, to get into your daily rituals and routines, creating these amazing habits. So today's anytime flow, I'm going to grab a yoga block from over yonder, ta-da, and I'm going to pop that down just at the ready here so that as uh, I need to demonstrate any modifications, I can do that for you. And of course, I'm on top of the only creaky floorboard in the entire place. <laughs> so come on down to the mat, your rubber rectangle, and take a seat. We are going to start in Sukhasana, easy seated pose and coming in, finding that comfortable seat. And it's pretty sweaty here in Bali. Yesterday we had some amazingly huge thunderstorms that just cracked over the top of where I'm sitting here today. And today is a little, seems like it's a little calmer on the outside. So if you have joined me on the rubber rectangle, uh, Come into Sukhasana, easy seated pose, and you can just rest the hands on the knees and maybe close down the eyes if that feels good for you. Not doing anything too much yet. We're just coming into the space onto the four corners, bringing the attention onto the four corners of our rubber rectangle, letting go of everything that's happening around us. And just coming into this space. just taking a moment of gratitude here and appreciation for you for showing up for you for being here in this moment in this practice pressing the hands palms together take an inhale breath in through the nose out through the mouth send that gratitude out into the world in the hope that it will spark joy in someone else's heart today. We are going to start by taking the arms out wide and slapping a mosquito. <laughs> Things that we have to live with here in Bali. Now, I am tapping my fingers onto the mat and I'm gonna roll my shoulders up and down my back and give my fingers a little bit of a tap here and I'm gonna to reach to one end of my rubber rectangle and then reach all the way over to the other side. And we're gonna do that a couple of times, walking the fingertips away as we start to stretch into the side body. So walking the left hand away, walking the right hand away, and it's a bit like cousin it, you know, that's the fingertips in the Adams family, isn't it? <laughs> that walk in either direction. So just starting with this gentle action of moving into opening the side body. It's amazing how something so simple can feel so good as we press our hips down into the earth, reaching the fingertips out to the side. There's a lovely breeze blowing through the shala right now. Hopefully that keeps the mosquitoes at bay. We're gonna take an inhale breath and lift the arms up and over the head, gazing towards the fingertips. Press the hands together and as you exhale through the mouth, Returning the hands to heart center. Take the fingertips out wide. Take an inhale breath, turn the palms up high. 
Press the hands, palms together. Exhale through the mouth and bring the hands back to heart center. One more round to fingertips all the way out to the side. Inhale, arms up and over. Press the hands, palms and return the hands to heart center. Gentle, humble bow of the head. Returning to that moment of appreciation for you being here on the mat. Extend the arms out wide to the side. Give yourself a really big hug. Round through the spine and drop the elbows down towards the shins. Tuck the chin into the throat and really feel like you're pulling the shoulder blades apart and rounding through the back body. Kind of like a cat stretch, but just in a different space. Inhale and open up the arms. Interlace the hands behind the back. If you can't reach the hands, you can grab hold of your T-shirt, a sock, a belt, a tea towel, hand towel, whatever you have handy. And we're going to take two breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And our breathing is such an important part of our practice as we've moved through our vinyasa. Releasing the hands from the back body. Remember which hand you had over the top. We're going to cross the other one over so that we get both sides equally stretchy and warmed up. Round through the back body. Inhale up, expand the heart space, reach all the way back behind you and instead of finding the easy way to interlace the fingers, try to do it the uncomfortable way. We're going to balance out both sides, yeah? There we have it and this time we're going to take an inhale breath, gaze towards the sky, exhale and release. Bring the hands over. Roll it into, there are quite a few mozzies around here today. Roll it into tabletop. I guess, you know, when we, when we start to practice, we'd like everything to be perfect, but it's just not. And I guess we have to learn to work through some of the more challenging situations. And the challenging situations that I face here in Bali are mosquitoes with their little buzzy, buzzy noises of annoyance. So without further ado, let's get back to practice. Hands, palms, plant into the mat. And we are going to tuck the toes under, walk the hands back towards the knees, walk the hands up the thighs, and then walk the knees back towards the toes. So we're going to come into a little bit of a standing balance later in our practice. So this is just going to help with opening up the toes. Draw the belly into the spine, bring the hands to the heart space. Take two inhale, exhale breaths here, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose out through the mouth, return the hands to the mat, keep the toes tucked and lift the hips up into downward facing dog. Start to walk your dog and you can sway the hips from one side to the other, feeling the length coming into the back body and the hamstrings. So if you don't or cannot reach the heels down to the earth, fear not my friends, I want you to lift up onto the toes, bend into the knees, use the hands to press the body back so that the belly's touching the thighs. Take an inhale breath here, lift a little higher. And as you exhale, slowly start to bring the heels down to the mat and straighten through the legs. And you can do this one at a time too. So you keep one heel high, and lengthen through the left and then the other heel high, lengthen through the right. And eventually as we start to warm up, stretching into the hamstrings and the calves, it will feel a lot better. We're going to walk the hands back towards the feet, bend into the knees and just take a little bit of a rag doll here, drop the head down, feel that lovely roll in the back and that sway from side to side. Walk the hands forward, come back into your down dog, give a little press and a stretch here. And we're gonna drop back down onto the knees through tabletop, untuck the toes and come back into child's pose. This child's pose is going to be a little bit active, so start to press into the fingertips, lengthen through the back body, hips to heels and drop the head. We're going to come through three rounds of Cobra. Start to press the hands into the earth. Roll up through cat stretch, articulating the spine, coming through tabletop, dropping the hips, bending the elbows and lifting the heart. 
Exhale, press back into child's pose. Give it a little bit of a stretch here. We're going again, two more rounds. Inhale, roll it up through the back body. Elbows bent, hips drop through. One more, exhale, press back. Inhale, roll it forward. Drop the hips down. Exhale, press back into child's pose. Come back through tabletop, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. A little bit of movement here again, trying not to get stuck in any space and using the breath to connect the movement. So the inhale being the expansion and the exhale being the surrender or contraction. Walking the feet, sorry, walking the hands back to the feet. Bending into the knees, rolling all the way to standing. Press the feet into the earth, all four corners of the feet. As though you're doing a snow plow in skiing. Lift up through the legs, reach the arms up and over the head. Press the hands, palms gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, hands come to heart center. We're gonna bend into the knees, drop the body down over the thighs. Place the right hand between the feet. Sweep the left hand back as you lift the left heel and it's like freestyle, we're swimming. Exhale and release. Rolling all the way to standing, coming up and over. Exhale, allow the body to drop down, draping over the legs. Left hand plants, right heel lifts, right hand comes up and over. It's like freestyle. And then we roll to rise. We're going to do that just two more times. Heart lifts, hands press, heels ground, exhale rolling through the back body, dropping the body over the thighs, right hand plants, left heel lifts up and over, roll through the back body all the way to standing, reaching, hands press, heart lifts, heels ground, bend and drop it down, left hand plants, right heel lifts as we gaze to the sky, reach all the way forward. <laughs> and roll to rise, coming all the way up to standing, hands, palms, press, heart lifts, heels, ground, a moment of gratitude here, release the hands to the sides, take an inhale breath, exhale, drop the body down over the thighs, Plant the hands into the earth and just rock forward and back, heels and toes, drop the head down. Feel a little bit more length coming into the hamstrings and into the calf muscles, maybe opening up into the feet and testing your balance here as you rock forward and back. You can take the hands off the earth and just play in that space. And if you fall forward, bring it back into downward facing dog. Take an inhale with the right leg, lift that high. Keep the hips square to the earth, flex the toe, press the hands into the earth, lift the belly to the spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, left leg, sweep it high. Not too high, we want to just keep the hips square, but we want to feel the hands pressing back and that lift of the hips. Exhale and release. We're going with the right leg again. Sweep it back, not too high. Press the hands, lift the hips, belly to spine. Bend the knee, heel to the butt. Open the hip, gaze under the right tricep. Back to centre, lengthen the leg. Exhale and release. Repeat left, inhale left, square the hips, heel to butt, knee to the side, gaze under the left, bicep, tricep, arm, upper arm, come back to centre, lower the left leg, take a little gaze forward, bend into the knees and walk it forward to the top of the mat, roll through the back body, and come all the way up to standing. Take the arms up and over. Hands, palms, press, heart lifts, heels ground. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment here, adjust the tights <laughs> and just take a few breaths. Just as we move through 
that warm up creating some heat or tapas in our body. Just expressing a little bit of appreciation for the self for showing up, maybe giving yourself a little bit of a pat on the shoulder for being here and being in your practice today. Anytime we show up on our rubber rectangles, uh, we know that we're doing something that is going to take us on that journey towards more joy and happiness. Release the hands down by the side body, take an inhale breath, arms up high. Exhale, bend into the knees, deep forward fold. So let the belly drape down over the thighs. Take the hands to the shins, inhale and lift through the back body, halfway lift. Exhale, deep forward fold, hands, palms, plant. Step back into your plank pose. Yogi's choice, I'm gonna bring the knees down to the mat or you may like to stay in full chaturanga. You're gonna exhale, stay in that nice ironing board space. Inhale and lift up into Urdhva Mukha. Roll over the toes, press back, Ardha Mukha. Downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg. And we're going to step that right leg between the hands and come down into Anjaneyasana. Come all the way up so that the shoulders are stacked over the hips. Take an inhale breath. Reach the arms up high. Now I want you to stay fairly square here. Keep the belly drawn into the spine and drop into that stretch. Try not to arch into the back, just opening up through that left hip flexor, just here. You can see my shoulders are still stacked over my hips, so I'm not arching into a back bend or pressing there, keeping the core engaged and just dropping into that space. Bring the hands through heart center. Let them come down to the mat and press back into half Hanumanasana. So this is preparation for splits pose, but working into the hamstring and the calf. Pull the toes back towards the nose. Inhale, lengthen through the back body. Exhale, surrender. Inhale, take it all the way forward. Come back into Anjaneyasana. This time, press the hands, palms together over the head, or you can keep them separate, yogi's choice. Exhale and release. So you might like a little bit of assistance with the blocks here in this space. So don't be afraid to use those for a little bit of support until you build strength and flexibility here. We're going to plant the left hand down on the earth, uncurl the toes and come on up into a baby half moon. So we've already opened the hip when we're in downward facing dog and now we're opening it a little deeper in this half moon fully supported by the leg and the left hand. Draw the knee into the chest, step it forward, reach the arm all the way forward, up and over, opening the chest, reach back and grab for that left foot. Now, if you can't grab the left foot, just try and work on pulling the heel, a little cramp there, pulling the heel in towards the butt, Open the heart space, gaze to the sky. Exhale and release, tuck the toes. Sink back into half Hanumanasana. Inhale forward, take both hands forward. Come up into your high lunge. And we're gonna come all the way up to warrior three. So my fingertips can touch here. If you need a little bit more support in your warrior three, Use the blocks, extend through the back body, lift the heart space, belly up towards the spine. So you're creating the same effect as plank pose, but just standing on one leg with a little support. Release the hands from the blocks. Find your balance, steady gaze, steady balance. Inhale the arms up and over. Exhale and release down to Tadasana. Release the hands, take an inhale breath, arms up and over. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Hands press into the shins. Exhale, hands, palms plant. Step back into plank. Yogi's choice, knees to the earth or full chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Ardha Mukha. We are moving into the left side, my yogi friends. Inhale that left leg high. Step it forward into 
High lunge, lowering that back knee to Anjaneyasana. Keep the toe curled, hips come back. So you've got the shoulders stacked over the hips. Inhale the arms high, keep the hands over the shoulders and reach as far up to the sky as you can. You want to feel length as though the, the ribs are separating away from the hips. Exhale and surrender into that space, opening up into the right hip flexor. Drop into that space. Exhale back, half Hanumanasana. So feeling that stretch, if you need to support with the blocks, do so. Inhale forward, coming directly back into Anjaneyasana, reach high. We're going to exhale the right hand down to the mat, uncurl the toes, find your balance in baby half moon. So this upper arm stacked so that you've got the wrist, the elbow, or that lower arm, and the shoulder all in one line. Eventually you're gonna turn the head towards the sky as you learn to trust yourself in this balance. Draw the knee into the chest as you step forward again into Anjaneyasana. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, press back, half Hanumanasana. I'm doing the look mum, no hands version. And you can take the arms back or you can use your hands to support you or blocks to support you in this space. We're reaching forward and coming into our supported warrior three. Reach forward of the foot, lift up into high lunge. Use a little bit of momentum here to lift you into warrior three. Draw the belly into the spine. Right hand comes to the heart. Left hand comes to the heart. Find your balance. Take an inhale as you lift up into Ekapada to Dasana. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Let's take that flow one more time. We're going to move a little bit faster this time. Release the hands down by the side body. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Yogi's choice, knees down or full. Chaturanga, inhale to Urdhva, exhale to Ardo, right leg lifts, exhale, step it forward, come down into Anjaneyasana, keep those toes tucked, arms up and over, exhale back, half Hanumanasana, inhale forward, Anjaneyasana. Plant the left hand, come into baby half moon. Finding your balance and maybe turning the head towards the sky. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, step it forward. Reach that right arm up and over. Come in and find that quad stretch on the right. Now, you might just think, she missed that on the other side. And you'd be completely correct because nothing is perfect. <laughs> Exhale and release. Half Hanumanasana. I promise not to miss it on this side. Coming into supported warrior three. Hands forward of the front foot. High lunge. Lift warrior three. Support yourself with blocks if you need to. Or you can move into an unsupported balance. Inhale to Ekapada to Dasana. Exhale, hands through heart center, straight into your sun cell on the left side. Inhale, arms up and over. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back into plank yogi's choice, knees down or full chaturanga. Inhale to urva. Exhale to ardo. Left leg lifts. Step forward, high lunge, drop that knee down, low lunge, Anjaneyasana, arms up and over for the first round, stretching into the hip, exhale back, half Hanumanasana if you need that support, find whatever is right for you in this space, inhale up, Anjaneyasana, 
exhale, finding your baby half moon, stretching it out. Maybe lifting the gaze. Knee into the chest on the exhale. Step it forward. We're going to reach that left arm forward as far as we can. Open it up just like we did in that first stretch and reach back. This is like backstroke as opposed to freestyle. Pulling the heel into the butt, giving that quad a lovely stretch here. Release, tuck the toes and sit way back into half Hanumanasana, whatever variation you would like to take today. As we move into our supported warrior three, hands to the mat, lifting into high lunge, momentum to warrior three. If you want a challenge for an unsupported balance, one hand, then the other into warrior three. And we find ourselves lifting ekapada, exhale and release. Take a moment here. Well done, everyone. Good on you for being here through that practice. I know as we move into that second set, we get just a little bit more speed. So perhaps you're feeling an elevated heart rate. At any point in time, you're welcome to drop into child's pose and take a break, or even just standing here in Tadasana, closing down the eyes for a moment. And if you've lost that connection to breath, come back to that connection, slow it down, got all lovely sounds happening here in Bali. It's never a dull moment. There's always work being done or mosquitoes being blown away. So finding and staying connected <laughs> to the self and centered here with pratyara, like withdrawal of the senses, can be a challenge. Anywho, releasing the hands by the side body. I have got my feet roughly about hip width apart. You can stay at the end of the mat, but I thought I'd come and give you a wave from the long side of the mat. We're going to release the hands down by the side body. And as we take an inhale breath, we're gonna rise up onto the toes. So you're gonna lift the heels, take the arms up and over the head and find your balance here. Try and find length in the spine, crown of the head rising high, lifting, lifting, lifting. As you exhale, lower the heels to the earth, start to bend into the knees, hands to heart center. So it's like a little variation on Utkatasana. Shift the weight over to the left leg and lift that knee into the chest. You're gonna cross that leg over and wrap it around the knee. So it's like hooked in. And this thigh is acting like a little ledge for the foot. Start to bend into that left supporting leg and keep your balance here. So steady gaze, steady balance. If you are here, perfectly fine. If you want to bend a little lower, stretching into the piriformis, bringing the elbows or the forearms down to the shin. Also awesome. Lowering the hips just a little, extending through the spine, belly to the spine. And we're going to return to standing. If you fall out, it's not failure. It's just finding your edge. Go slow and come back in. Lower that foot down. Release the hands, find a little Saturday night disco hips, let it all go. Take an inhale breath, raise your heels, lift up onto the toes, reach the arms up and overhead. All the sweat is dripping now here in Bali. Bring the hands back through heart center, bend into the knees. We're creating a little shelf here with this right quadricep, we're going to shift the weight over to the right. So start with your connected breath, steady gaze, steady balance, lift the knee into the chest, cross it over. It's like it's hooked onto that knee. So you've got a lovely support structure there. Start to bend into that right supporting leg and wherever you are, just find your balance today. Maybe you're challenging yourself to bring the forearms down to the knees. And this is a stretch into the piriformis. It's like our pigeon pose. So wherever you are at, slow and controlled, finding your balance. Inhale, come back to standing. Release the arms. We're rising up again one more time, one last time, all the way up. Steady gaze, steady balance. Make this your best one yet. Bring the hands to heart center, stay up on the toes. A little bit of a challenge as we start to shift the weight onto the toes, bend the knees, 
and come all the way down into a squat, dropping the knees forward, keep the shoulders over the hips, lift the hips up off the heels, squeeze everything through the midline. Start to press the heels. I'm gonna turn around so I'm side on. Start to press the heels down towards the earth and bring the butt down to the earth. Come into Urdhva Navasana, so half boat pose. And I'm gonna just shift forward a little away from the blocks. Mosquitoes, I don't love you. Please go away. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> we are in Urdhva Navasana, half boat. We're going to do four rounds, coming down to low boat and lifting up. The core is a hungry beast and it loves a little bit of a workout. So come with me now. If this is really a big challenge for you and you're still working on strengthening the core, just instead of coming all the way down to low boat, tap the toes, lift up and find your balance here. And if you're coming with me, here we go, low boat, inhale up to high boat, exhale low boat, inhale lift, high boat. So this is like the reverse action of the breath. So as we squeeze together, we're inhaling here because we have this physical lift of the body, we need to exert some energy. Exhale, come down low, inhale, lift it up high. One more, exhale low, inhale high. Drop the toes down to the earth. Give the knees a bit of a squeeze here. And we're going to take a little bit of a rock and roll in a moment. Drop the head into the knees. And then, just checking where I am, where my blocks are. <laughs> Hands onto the shins. And just give the back a little massage here. Because that feels quite good. And we are going to do one more. And stay all the way down onto the earth. Knees into the chest and not too much pressure here. Just rest it and feel the sense of surrender. Take a deep inhale breath, exhale through the mouth. Kind of like a really big physical sigh. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Bring the feet up to the floor. Take the hands up to the sky and grab a hold of the inside of the feet, so waving at you, and pull the knees down towards the arms. And you might like to rock from side to side in this happy baby variation. Oh, it feels good. A little massage into the QL, into the kidneys. And also, Everyone looks equally as ridiculous as each other in this shape. It causes great laughter, I think, when we do this in collective practice, because it's, it's certainly very unladylike, one would say. <laughs> Probably not very gentlemanly either. <laughs> Come back to centre. Get a little extra grip on the hands. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, pull the knees towards the armpits. Now, if you can't reach the feet, just like a, a face washer over each side, or you can pull a strap down, even that out and pull down. Um, you know, there's loads of modifications that you can do. A tea towel is really great here, if you've got one for either foot, um, or a pair of knee-high socks, even, if you've taken off your socks. Come back to centre. Take a little rock and roll. And we're going to come up and find a little balance here. Tap the toes. See if you can challenge yourself by finding a little bit of balance here. So balance comes in so many different shapes and forms. And sometimes balance is standing on one leg. Sometimes that balance is sitting on the sit bones. Lift through the heart space. Now, if you're not quite up there just yet, See if you can challenge yourself in Navasana and stay here and you can lift one leg high and then the other, other leg high, then the other, maybe both legs together. Do a little bit of separation, bring them back. <laughs> Loads of ways to challenge and modify your practice. Come into Sukhasana from that little crazy experiment. So our yoga practice should be a little bit fun. If it's not fun and it always becomes like really draining and way too serious, who wants that? 
No one. That's not sustainable if it's boring and serious and, and like no fun and, and you just feel like it's a drain and a pain every time you get on your mat. So try and put elements in there that make your practice interesting, fun, and like a little mini adventure every time you step on your mat. Sometimes when I get on my mat, I have an idea of what I want to do, and then that idea goes out the window. And it's the same when I'm teaching collective practice. I can have all the ideas in the world, but the minute I step on the rubber rectangle and I see where the class is at, where my, where, where my students are at, the students are always the teacher. You're always your own teacher as you step on the mat because they tell me what direction they need to go in and I can see that by looking and saying, right, maybe we need to do a little bit more this and a little bit more that. And so whatever grandiose plans I had, gone skis. Take the hands out to the side or scratch your shoulder because I think a mozzie bit me there. Reach the hands out to the side. Turn the hands, palms up towards the sky. So it's the back of the fingers that are tapping the mat. Take an inhale breath through the nose, lift the arms up high. This time, turn the hands, palms back down towards the earth. As you exhale for, through the mouth, whew, uh, bring the hands back down to the mat. Turn the hands, palms up to the sky. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Hands come down. Two more times. Inhale, hands, palms up. Turn them down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. This time reaching the hands up. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath inside the body for a count of ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn the hands, palms down. Exhale. I let the arms float all the way down to the earth as you exhale through the mouth. Hold the breath for as long as you can, counting back from 20. And then once you feel that first urge, that pull by the diaphragm to take a deep inhale, control your response and slowly bring the breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Nice and slow, rhythmic breathing in and out. Return the hands to the legs, resting the hands on the thighs. Close down the eyes if that feels good. Feel the hips connected to the earth, our muladhara chakra grounding and connecting us to Pachamama, our earthly existence. The crown chakra, the top of the head rising high drawing up towards the sky, the universe, source, and in endless possibilities, infinite opportunity. Come back to your connection to the breath, our prana or life force, this breath bringing us into the present moment, here in this life. As you come into this present moment, anchored by the breath, allow this to be your dharana or your one point of focus. As you connect to the breath and find that one point of focus, you create or allow yourself to withdraw your senses. Pratyara. creating stillness for yourself. And this, my friends, as you find that place of personal peace is meditation. Just by focusing on those three elements, anchoring the mind with the breath, that sole point of focus, your inhale and exhale, and pratyara, withdrawal of the senses. We come to meditation and eventually samadhi. As always, you are welcome to sit for as long as you like in this space. 
If you are ready to come out, bring the hands, palms to the heart center. Just coming back to our intention for class today, which was just to appreciate ourselves for showing up. Take the hands to the shoulders and give yourself a little pat on the shoulders. Maybe give yourself a hug and thank yourself for showing up, for being here, doing awesome just for you. you. Sometimes we just need to be our own cheer squad. Bring your hands back to heart centre. Press the thumbs into the forehead. A reminder to always think kind thoughts. Bring that hands to the lips as a reminder to always speak words of kindness. Return the hands to heart centre. Let this be a reminder for our thoughts of kindness, our words of kindness to become our act of kindness. These acts are not only for ourselves, but for those around us. Namaste, my yogi friends. Thank you so much for being here with me in this anytime flow. Well, we got a little bit of movement happening, a little bit of sweat on. I hope you are feeling groovy. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing you in our next tutorial. <laughs>